Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the MetaHuman Animator app that was just updated today. So I'm going to go ahead and record on my iPhone 12 mini right now so you can see what I'm taking a look at because we're going to be going over this. So first things first, let's go ahead and that's not the right one. I'll download it right here. Open it. And I went ahead and read all that. I asked ChatGPT, press OK. Press OK, and here we are. You're going to see you're going to be welcome with two options now. We have the Live Link AR kit, and we also have the Meta Human Animator. I'm just going to go like that. And as you can see right here, you can change this later on. I'm going to say OK. So it looks really similar to the Live Link one with a couple of changes here. So you can see on the top right corner, we have 60 frames per second. It's recording again this the iPhone 12 mini, which is the perfect. I think phone here because it's really small on the bottom left corner it's going to show you all your takes i don't have any takes yet so that's fine go ahead and cancel that and on the top left corner you can see we have our microphone it's actually recording the audio on my phone which is cool and on the top left top left corner is the gear icon you can see here we're in the meta human animator mode target frame rate is 60 frames per second i suggest you go with 60. Uh, time code is going to leave everything by default record button is going to record and what's cool here is you're going to see that we have this preview depth and if i turn this on now and press done you're going to see that it's using the front cameras true depth sensor i think so that's cool that's how it's going to be able to kind of calculate the facial animation that we're going to be using so i'll go back in there and i'll go turn this off you can turn the overlay on or fade it out, whatever, video quality. I'm going to set this to medium. And yeah, that, that's pretty exciting stuff. Um, right now, as of making this video right now tonight, the MetaHuman plugin is not updated to 5.2 yet. But at the same time, them releasing this MetaHuman Animator app, the MetaHuman plugin update shouldn't be that far away but i want to go ahead and just showcase this and kind of show you the difference between the live link and the metahuman animator okay so before i go here i went ahead and put on my mocap helmet that as you all know i've been selling here just to kind of test it out and i have an iphone 12 mini i turned the lights off so you can kind of see the leds that i installed right here on my face it's really bright which is can kind of nice i mean i can kind of block out some of these lights if i want to but honestly it's not that bad for me because it's not directly pointing at my eyes because it's a little bit lower. But yeah, if I kind of move this phone down, you can actually see my head and my face, which works really nice. But really the most important part is I want to see what it's going to look like with the actual preview of this. Okay. So you can actually get my entire face in this. Now, usually I wear like a headband, so it's not kind of moving because my head is really small uh, for this helmet. But I think, I think this is going to work really nice. Now, again, I'm going to have to wait for the actual MetaHuman plugin to be updated for me to test it out completely. But I did try this with Live Link, the regular Live Link, and it works fine. So that's pretty much it. That is the MetaHuman Animator Live Link app that came out today. Pretty stoked about it. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.